Razia Sultan, the first and the last woman ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. In the early years of 13th century, fierce warriors were fighting to reign over Delhi. Among the warriors, there was a woman named Razia, who was the only female sovereign in the entire history of Islamic civilization across the world. Belonging to a slave dynasty, her accession to Delhi Sultanate's throne shook the established customs of nobility and power. Razia's father, Shamsuddin Il Tutmish, had risen to be the Sultan of Delhi from being a Turkish slave. He raised Razia to be a bold young girl, training her alongside with his three sons in governance and military. Razia was trained from childhood by her father in warfare, in administration, in statesmanship, and even before. Uh, he had made his will to appoint her his successor. He had gone on a campaign to Gwalior and at that time also he left Delhi in charge of Razia and not in charge of, her, of his sons. The Sultan considered Razia equal to 20 of his sons in ability. She assisted her father in state affairs and never hesitated in giving her opinion. On his deathbed, Il Tutmish nominated Razia as his successor, becoming the first sultan to nominate a woman as heir. However, her accession was challenged by Turkish nobles. Not wanting to see a woman ruler, her brother Rukmunuddin Feroz was set up to the throne by the nobles. Feroz indulged in hedonistic pleasures and left governance to his mother, dissatisfying the citizenry. In November 1236, both his mother and he were assassinated and then Sultan Razia ascended the throne under the name Jalalat Uddin Razia. She refused to be addressed as Sultana as it meant wife or mistress of a Sultan. ...the service to her by saying Razia Sultan. She herself said that the word Sultan, if added as a suffix, is used for a consort or a princess. I am Sultan Jalaluddin Razia. That was the name in which she ascended the throne and in the name in which she struck her coins. So we should call her Sultan Razia. She was a monarch in her own right, not the wife of a monarch or the, just the daughter. Razia adopted a gender-neutral attire and abandoned the parta, angering the traditional Muslim society. She ordered coins to be minted in her name, Pillar of Women, Queen of the Time, Sultan Razia, daughter of Shamsuddin al Tutmish, openly exercising her power. Being a secular leader, Razia prioritized both traditional and scientific education and established a host of schools, academies, centers for research, and public libraries. Despite her welfare schemes, her rule did not please the Turkish nobles who could not accept being ruled over by a woman. They made a plan to revolt against her and so her opponents cast rumours about her relationship with one of her stable managers who was an Abyssinian slave, Jamaluddin Yakut. And so an Abyssinian slave being given such an important position as being made the head of the stables which is again an essential part of an army and also he is a mentor to the Sultan would itself be objectionable and that is one of the main reasons that was used that was uh, I think that went against her the fact that she could she had the independence and she had the guts and the courage to go against the Chehelgani Turks who were all powerful in them. This angered Malik Ikhtiaruddin Altunia, her rumoured childhood lover. He conspired a coup against Razia, imprisoning her at Kela Mubarak and helping her brother Muizuddin Behram Shah take control of the throne. However, Altunia and Razian later got married. Some believe they fell in love, while some believe she did it to avoid death. When she went to Bhatinda and she fought with uh, Malik Altunia. He imprisoned her and later on she sent a proposal or he sent a proposal. I don't know how it happened, but anyway, they decided to join forces together and she got married to him. So, uh, the fight, whatever was, was a political one. The marriage may have been a political alliance. In 1240, Razia and her husband Altunia decided to seize and reclaim the lost kingdom from her brother. However, they were defeated in the ensuing battle and fled Delhi. They were caught midway and killed by a band of men believed to be her brother's conspirators. Sultan Razia died at the young age of 35 on 13th October 1240, after only reigning for four years. Remember her legacy and share this video.